Vegan You. I'm Chef Nicole and I have an amazing recipe for you guys today. As always, we're making an incredible vegan mac and cheese today. It's going to be gluten free, it's going to be dairy free, and it's going to be 100% delicious. You guys are going to be super impressed. This is the creamiest recipe that I've found and I've tried a few. The sauce is made completely from vegetables. Go figure. Right? And it's really delicious. So check this out. It's going to be awesome. Like always, I'm going to go over what we need. Um, first of all, you're going to need some gluten-free uh, macaroni noodles. Butternut squash. I'm just showing the package. Uh, I got this at Trader Joe's. It's already pre-chopped. Empty now because I already roasted it. Um, but you will need three cups of butternut squash. If you guys want to tackle the whole animal, go for it. Butternut squash is kind of hard and it's kind of a beast. So. If you can make some shortcuts and get it pre-chopped, help yourself out. You also will need uh, two cups of sweet potato roasted. Now, I've already pre-roasted my butternut squash and my sweet potato, and I have a little extra roasted in the oven right now, so I'll get that out in a second to show you guys. Uh, you're going to need one cup of yellow onion, about two cloves of garlic. Now, I love garlic, so I've chopped about four. You do what you need to do when it comes to the garlic. I won't judge you. You're going to have one teaspoon of the dried mustard. One teaspoon of smoked paprika, eighth of a teaspoon of the Himalayan sea salt, half a teaspoon of the black pepper. You will need three fourths a cup of coconut cream, the creamiest kind you can get. Just do it. Separate off the water, just use the cream. I talk about that in another video. Uh, half a cup of veggie broth, a tablespoon and a half, this is to taste, of tamari. This is going to add saltiness to your dish. You will also need some nutritional yeast, about a half a cup. First thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 450, and you will coat your butternut squash and your sweet potatoes in olive oil and roast those for about 20 minutes till tender. Now, like I mentioned before, I have a few that are done already. Um, but I will show you guys here what's going on. And this is awesome. These are all ready to go. This is what the sauce is going to be primarily made out of. So these are the uh, pre kringle chopped, the butternut squash. Ooh, super sizzly. And these are the sweet potatoes. So these are all roasted. And, and you just want to roast them till tender so you can do the little poke test. And when it's soft, it's ready to party. All right? So we'll set that aside to cool. We are going to, in a little tiny saucepan, caramelize the garlic with the onions and our spices. So just a drizzle of olive oil just so we don't have any sticking. Dump in that garlic, dump in the onion, pepper, and paprika. The paprika is so good because it's gonna add kind of a smokiness to this dish without adding any spice. So I love that, smoked paprika. Um, the cool thing about smokiness that is, uh, in a lot of the nacho cheese sauces, you kind of naturally get that smokiness from the cheddar. And so we're kind of like recreating that with the paprika. And here is our mustard, dried mustard, the salt. Get in there, salt. I'm gonna take this baby over to the saucepan and caramelize these down, just on medium heat, stirring occasionally until my onions get nice and like a translucent yellow color, so that should take about, you know, 10 minutes if you're doing it right, on a low heat. All right, so check back. Just dicing up all my sweet potatoes. Super hot. I'll wait till these cool for safety, you know, if I was the average user. Ooh, stupid. Garlic is happening. Mmm, Django is happening. Ugh, I forgot to mention, if you haven't started this already, boil a pot of water, because it takes some time, and you don't want to wait for it. Mine's already boiling, so I'm going to start the noodles now, and you know what? If they get done before everything else, that's fine. We'll just set them aside with the lid on them. Boiling water, these bad boys, the gluten-free ones from Trader Joe's, they take 8 to 10 minutes, so I'm just going to dump those in my boiling water now, and we will check back on that. It'll be ready for us. Alright, we're ready to make the sauce now, you guys. Super nacho creamy sauce. If you have a huge Vitamix or you have a huge food processor, you're going to be able to do this all in one foul soup. Foul, foul swoop? Foul swoop. Uh, I'm going to have to do this in small pieces, okay? So, I am, I'm going to get started. 
So my little onions and garlic and spices are all caramelized. Ooh. Now, to blend in the Vitamix or the blender or the Nutribullet, whatever you have. Go ahead and add your half a cup of the veggie broth and your tamari. About a tablespoon and a half. Don't get crazy, guys, because it's salty, you know? And we're already putting nutritional yeast, which is also salty, but full of amazing bio-nutrients, including your Bs, like B3, B1, B2, B6, B12. Eat it. It's delicious. Half a cup of this. This tastes so much like Parmesan cheese, so if you want like to add that kind of nutty element to your sauce, you're going to want to definitely use this. This is great. It's great as a topper, too. If you want to make this mac and cheese in advance and then put it in a casserole pan, yeah, it went everywhere, so uh, um, <laughs> you could do that and put this on top and bake it. And super creamy coconut cream, three-fourths a cup of the coconut cream. And now we're going to add in our caramelized onions, garlic, and all those spices that we cooked down with it. Now, I didn't do this this time, but sometimes when I'm feeling really, you know, exotic, I'll add a shallot. I will. I'll add a shallot with these onions because I'm crazy. And shallots are amazing and smoky. And they, they taste, uh, you know, reminiscent of the bacon days, which I don't miss, but you know, still that smoky flavor. All those bad boys in there and we are going to blend up. If you had a huge food processor or your Vitamix right now, you would also at this time add your squash and your sweet potato. But I don't have room, so I'm just gonna work with this and then we'll just do that separately. It's looking so saucy already. Okay, great. Great, look at this, it's already looking cheesy saucy. What? A little bit liquidy right now because I haven't added the sweet potato and uh, the next squash. I'm gonna leave a little liquid. And we're gonna dump those roasted buddies in. You'll notice, oh, wow, we got a hanger here. I did not peel my sweet potatoes. You guys can if you want, but I like it a little more rustic. And there are, you know, some valuable nutrients in the peel, some B vitamins. So you know, I like to leave the peel on if I can. Oh my gosh, so good. So thick, so creamy. See, this is like a very nacho cheesy texture. It tastes so good. Okay, great. All right guys, check back and I will complete this dish. We have the nacho cheese sauce made. And as soon as those noodles are done, we're gonna combine it all together. Look at this guys, so thick, so creamy and so delicious. I pulled my noodles off and strained them. So now all we do is combine, right? So I'm just gonna, just to show you guys, you know how to do this. I'll put that in there, put those noodles in there, get in there noodles. This is so good, you guys. This is a huge crop teaser. Kids love this too. They don't know. They don't know that it's not crap. Okay. And then the fun part, we're gonna just Gop on our delicious, beautiful nacho cheese sauce. I like it super cheesy. Boom. You know, it just even has that creamy sound, like the cheese going over the elbows. All right. Bon appetit, guys. Creamy mac and cheese. I want you to subscribe to my channel, I Vegan You. Yes, hit subscribe. I Vegan You. I'm Nicole Dursway, and I teach you amazing vegan recipes that you can cook at home in your own kitchen. And they'll be super popular with your friends and it will save the baby seals. So subscribe. You want to believe in unicorns? Subscribe. You want fairies to stop dying every day? Subscribe. You want Prince Charming to finally show up on that white horse? Just subscribe. Okay?